there. Yeah, just doing another movie review. You know, like always. Oh, you're wondering what I have here. I have the movie that we're going to be reviewing. It's another Phantom version. And let me just tell you something. It is the um, Phantom of the Opera 1943 version starring Norman Carey, Susanna Foster, and Claude Rains, my favorite comedian. I think this is the second Phantom version, um, because the first Phantom, um, version that I saw was obviously the romantic Android Weber version, but I, like, just pulled this right out of the bag on YouTube. I just found it on, um, I just found it, and literally, I was waiting for months actually years probably to get this and when it finally came to the mail i like pooped my pants i was so ready to see this movie and to be honest with you i i watched it like in 2019 on my ipad um like we got it on prime and or no we rented it on youtube probably um and like and then it was gone for a week or no, we got it for a week, and I thought, and I can't get many memories from that, so we just bought a whole movie, you know, no renting it anymore, just having it forever. Oh! And I, and the fact that it has Claude Rains, the wonderful Claude Rains, he's one of my favorite actors. And when I saw this guy, and when I saw his face, like, I was just like, he could become a phantom. And the fact that um, everything is ironic and, um, what is it, um, what is that word that the meaning is perfect? It's just perfect. Literal perfect. And there's so many things going on that it's distracting you from the main character. They literally put Raoul as the main character. And Claude reigns at the very bottom, which I called that, like, weird. Um, but he was in... But he was... He was more of a aggressive phantom, and he wasn't really shown that many times. Um... He was more of a robber, or not more of a ghost, something like that. He's more of a robber, because um, cause you're probably wondering, where did he get this mask from, and how did he get to the bottom of the cellars of the opera house? Did he just find out? Nope. He actually stole the keys, the manager's keys, to all the rooms. Except his manager's office, which is actually quite dumb. But we'll talk about that later. And he also stole the mask. Um, a mask, which is kind of here. It's kind of like this mask that I just cut it out one day. But it's like a little bit more shaped out, not so, like, even. Um, um, but it's like... It's just so, like, cool. And we have this battle, not... And it, the thing is, what's kind of um, different about this version is that the police inspector... There's a police inspector named Rao, um, who's actually a police inspector, literally. Um, they're not fighting over the Phantom. He's actually fighting some someone else. See... It's basically this guy, and this guy is fighting over Christine, which is actually quite funny, cause um, but we'll get into that later. Um, and the whole disfigurement—he wasn't born with this disfigurement. Um, Christine actually met him without his phantom look. Like, without the mask and without the disfigurement. Because he was actually disfigured by acid. And then, soon along, my cat came by to review this movie with me. Hello. You look, look, there's my cat. Yeah, meow. She's smelling the mask. What a, what a cat. My 
And then soon after that, um, he was actually, um, he was actually, that's where he became the Phantom, um, and then sort of hided from that. But let's actually get into reviewing this. So, it starts off, I can't remember where it starts off at. It starts where Christine is right at the edge of, um, they're, like, getting ready to, um, get off stage, but she's singing, um, no, she, oh, do I, she wasn't singing, my bad. Um, Nelson, I, mm, one person who was fighting, it wasn't Raul who was fighting, um, no, that wasn't Raul on stage. It was the person who was fighting over Christine, um, and it wasn't Raul. He was singing, um, like, a, at a, like, a bar, and the set, oh my god, the set looked exactly like, it kind of reminded me of Beauty and the Beast. Especially the set, the, the bar, the characters, um, I can't remember, um, what it looked like, and then, and then, and then something, like, happened with Christine, she, like, she forgot to do something, and, like, and then, like, she just went off stage, and then we fast forward to a couple days later, where she's about to go on stage and sing, where, or, no, 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 same, and same night, um, at the same night, um, uh, Christine talks with the maestro, um, the, the best, the most, the, one of the most biggest lines of all, you must choose between an electric career, which is usually called a normal life, um, and then, um, and then the phantom comes in, and because at the stage, he was having, he was given a bad hand, literally. And then he was dismissed from the orchestra just from a snap of a finger. And it made me cry, like cry, cry. Um, and, his, and the maid that he had at home um, was super snippety. Just really, like, 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 there, and the maid was wondering about the money, you know, like, I want this, and I want this, um, and there was also, and just to point out, right when he was about to sit down at his chair, at his home, I saw a literal cat outside the window, literally, like, here, here's the window, here's the cat outside the window jumping off a roof. Like, whoever, like, who's the director of this? Like, I don't know. It doesn't say the director. But, like, why would they need a cat? A literal cat jumping off a roof. And then the maid comes in, da, 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 da. And then Eric um, strolls on at the music shop where he tries to find his music um but then the the owner of the music shop stole his music because it was really it was really um what is it um good so they wanted to keep that and then the iconic line you stole my music you stole it you stole my music and then like let's just pretend my hand is acid right now ah and and but the funny thing about that is it's only like he's his face was only half disfigured. It should be his whole face. And the mask was was like he was only half disfigured like right here and the mask was like that. Like it kind of doesn't make sense. But he but he did steal the masks. Um and there's this and then the next morning there's this weird guy manager whatever that's like it was the like I, I don't know, like, like, literally, that's just funny. I just call that funny because that's, like, I don't know why he could have just, like, said phantom. It was the phantom. But instead, he does this little crappy thingy that says it was the, like, and he says he has a beard and a long nose. Get your facts straight, man. Like, how is he going to wear a mask when he has a long nose like Pinocchio?
but it turns out he he his nose was wrinkled. And then we then and then that night Christine is about to sing, he's getting ready, and then she's getting ready and the phantom says like you do okay, you do all right. Um you'll do all right on stage and then Christine like asked Raoul for some reason that says like was that you who's saying that to me? And then Raoul act like Christine heard him all the way from like I don't know. It's weird. It's like it's like a sidekick moment. It's one of those sidekick moments. But the thing is that she doesn't know. Um, actually, she did know because before that, um, they say um, Eric Clawdown murdered a person, and before that, she met um, she met Eric Clawdown without the face, um, and he has this good. Uh, like greasy gray hair when he's in the opera house. I would say he's more of a poor phantom, and the layer is remarkable. It's not, it's not, well, I wouldn't say it's remarkable, but it's unique. It's not decorative, and he just literally found a piano in the middle of a, a cellar opera house. And that got me thinking what if many ghosts lived there? So that got me thinking, like, I forgot what I was going to say. It's not decorative. It's very big. It's very big. Um, and then, and then towards the end, um, towards the middle of the movie, um, Carlotta tries to sing, but she can't. So then Christine comes out and does it. Like, I don't know how they can just switch it up like that. Even though if she, like, doesn't know the opera, I don't know. Um, and the thing is that, I don't know why I'm just keep saying that, but, um, then, um, after the performance, Carlotta sings a few nights later, and then Carlotta says, I was good, wasn't I? Um, you've probably seen this part because it's the trailer on YouTube, um, and then the phantom opens the curtain, and then that I that like remarkable music, and then it goes dun 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 dun, dun and then it greets to Madame Caroli's death and maid. I don't know why the maid had to been murdered, but okay. Yet again, I've told you that he was aggressive at the very beginning of the movie, but we'll talk about that later. Towards the end of the movie. Um, like he said to Carlotta before she was murdered, Christine Duval will sing tomorrow night, leave Paris, or there will be a curse on the show. And then, but, like, they still have the guts to not let Christine sing. Wow, managers. Just, like, like... I, like, that is just, like, brave. Brave, but a brave soul to, like, because, I mean, they, I mean, they're, are the managers just like, no, 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 I don't want to stay alive, just, just kill me right now, you know, like, just make the chandelier fall, and no, 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 I want to die, I want to die. The managers are a brave soul, but they didn't have a, a, a part of that saying that Christine should not sing. And I believe, I believe that one person off camera should say, wow, our character are brave souls. Like, literally. Towards the end of the movie, of course, the chandelier falls. Um, was the chandelier crash great? Not entirely. But it, but the effort was there. The effort was there. And then the Phantom finally captures Christine Dor towards the end of the movie and then rips off the mask. And oh my god, that was, that unmasking scene was remarkable. Almost remarkable as the Lon Chaney Phantom of the Opera. Um, and before that, they actually decided to play the Phantom's um, Conchanta. 
um, which I think that was um, that was the stolen music from the musical shop down the street. And then right when right after he rips off the ma- she rips off the mask, Chris, um, the, um, Nelson, Eddie, and Raoul come and save her. Whereas the Phantom, the most saddest part of the movie, passed away during an avalanche in the lair. And then at the very end, what made but what made me cry is that it had his violin. And the thing is, is that when it has when it right when it showed the violin after his death and the mask right next to it 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 like like it gets your brain thinking right away that's when he got dismissed from the orchestra literally right away it got your brain thinking and that's how it made you cry it it would probably make every one of you cry oh yeah i'm seeing you you're going, uh-huh, I'm crying because this is so sad. The phantom died. He was dismissed from the orchestra. And yet again, it is a sad story. And and then we just ended off with the most silliest scene where Raul and Nelson Eddy get the exact same flowers for Christine. And then they just, and then, and then Christine just, um, like, dumps both of them and decides to focus on more of her career and then and then the two men decide to go like go on like dinner themselves and there you have it claude rains version of phantom of the opera it was impeccable i loved it um some scenes i didn't like some scenes i would have like jumped in there and said hey this is something we can change um and the characters were really different and unique um if you like the if you like this movie go check it out um this will probably be an advertisement for this video um just like the 19 and if you want to see me review the 1990 miniseries go check it out it's my oldest video um um, so yeah, go check that out. Well, that is going to do it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please smash that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!